Everybody knows their label. Everybody judges them. Everybody makes predicaments on them. But nobody really knows their story. Young carers, what they do is they look after a member of their family who is sick, unwell, or just unable to look after themselves. They're usually under 16, still in education. They still have ambitions and they are still thriving to be what they want to be in life. But society portrays them in a different way. Society portrays the people that they care for in a different way. Let me give you an example. I'm sure you've all heard of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, right? Right? That's good. Even I have when I grew up in Acton. Anyway, we are, seen, we, are seen, we are made to believe that Snow White is seen to be forced to look after the Seven Dwarfs. They say to her, if you cook for us, if you clean for us, if you make up our bed, if you pipe up every little mess we make, we will give you shower. We'll hide you from the stepmother. Look at the Simpsons. Whenever Lisa looks after her dad, her brother, or her younger sister, her mum always says, it's unfair on Lisa. Lisa doesn't want to do it. But how do you know Lisa doesn't want to do it? How do you want to know that she doesn't want to look after who she cares for? How do you really know? I want to tell you a story. I want you to get deep into the story. I want you to feel it. There was this girl. She was 12 years old when she found out her mum had cancer. She didn't know what to do, who to turn to, who to talk to, but she knew that her mum needed her. She knew this because this was her mum that had carried her for nine months, that had clothed her, that had bathed her, that had washed her, and that had given her everything she needed to be where she is now. While she was caring for her mum, she, she got a lot of comments made about her. Why should she be doing that? Her mum has forced her into position. Little did they know that she wanted to do it. She felt that it was what she could do to pay back her mum. She read an article. Young carers are most likely to fail at life. Because they are looking after someone at a young age, they forget education and they forget what they really need in life. Especially if the people that they care for sadly dies, they will get nowhere because they will be so depressed. They will be so sad. A month later, after reading that, the girl's mum sadly passed away. But do you know what? On the same day, she went to school. She's still hitting her grades. She goes to school every single day now, and that's because she knows that that's what her mum would have wanted. Stepping out of that story seems pretty sad, right? What if I was to tell you that women that had cancer and died was my mum, and yes, I was a young carer. But you know what? It's made me who I am today because I would not have been able to get on this stage if it wasn't for my mum. So I stand here on behalf of millions of other young carers when I say that we are proud for what we do. So yes, I was a young carer, but look at me now. Thank you.